Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are looking at serverless services on Azure. So what is serverless? This is when the underlying server ser servers, infrastructure, and OS is taken care of by the cloud service provider. It will generally be highly available, scalable, and cost effective. So serverless is event driven at scale. So uh, a serverless function can be triggered or trigger other events, allowing you to compose complex application and just scale. So with serverless technology, it's like playing with Lego blocks. Um, then you have abstraction of servers. So servers are abstracted away. Your code is described as functions. These functions can be running on different compute instances. So if some people like to use Python or some people like to use JavaScript, you can mix and match um, uh, there. Then you have micro billing. So when you have traditional servers, you'd probably be billed by at least a second, some uh, bill by the hour. But the thing is, if you're not using the server for the whole second or hour, you are paying for compute that you are not using. So serverless functions will bill you in the microseconds, so you're saving money because you're not paying for unused computation. Uh, now we'll just quickly walk through uh, some of the serverless services. I'm sure there's more than this, but this is what I think are worth highlighting. So the first is Azure Functions. So run small amounts of code known as serverless functions in your favorite languages. So you got C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, Python, and PowerShell. And if Azure is listening, please can you support Ruby because I love using Ruby. Then you have blob storage. So this is serverless object storage. Just upload your files. Don't think about the underlying file systems resizing, uh, basically unlimited space. And, and you can upload pretty darn large files. Then you have logic apps. It allows you to build serverless workflows composed of Azure functions, building a, I would say this is you building a state machine for serverless compute. Then you have event bridge, which seems a bit similar, but it's not. It uses pub sub messaging systems to allow you to react to events and trigger other Azure cloud services such as Azure Functions. So there you go, that is serverless services.